Hi guys, welcome back to some more Factorio, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog mode. Oh, we just got Character Logistics 3. Um, I think I was doing work on Rocket Saw, so we're going to continue on that and maybe do some laser stuff. Yeah, it seems pretty good. So let's finish this up. So what's on the agenda today? So I want to see what's over there, and I know how I'm going to do that. Um, we're going to use the artillery train wagon for that. So... Um, so before I had the car for this kind of purposes, um, and we're going to, I'm not, I'm not going to say retire the car completely, but I have an idea of how I want to do this. I'm just going to take a couple more turrets of every type and a few walls. That's just removing the walls. What happened to all the stone bricks? Oh, it could be that I just stopped it there. No, 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 I didn't. Goes up to here, and doesn't go the other way. Whoopsies. Someone may have noticed that, but you know, it's fine. I didn't notice it. Oh, well. There, uh, it's not like there wasn't like a huge line of furnaces anyways, but that would explain maybe why uh, our science has stopped for this. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, how do we blame Pat for all of this? I don't know. Okay. Uh, I, I don't think I don't think Pat can play, take the blame for this one. Alright, so the car is kind of slow until we get some better fuel for it. Um, so I figure, I figure we can do something a little bit better, maybe. Uh, we can try this out, anyways. We're going to have another cargo wagon. Oh, you found an expansion there. Heh. <laughs> Yeah, they're trying to make an expansion there. You know what? Actually, let's artillery bombard this. We need to do a bit better than that. Look at them. Look at them making expansions. Think I wouldn't notice. Alright, well, that's how they make expansions in this, uh, but that's okay. So we're gonna give him a couple of uh, everything. What what does this thing have? Okay, we can take we can give him a couple of uh, um, oops, a couple of train tracks. Uh, how about the remainder of the turrets that I have? That seems pretty good. And then whatever walls I have left. Yeah, this se this seems pretty good. All right. So we are going to go on our merry adventure. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell this one to go to... So, because I'm not... I mean, you can drive the trains yourself, but given the fact that uh, there's so much crap around, we're just going to tell them to go directly to Copper 5. Alright. So we're actually going to go on the death train. And this is going to be our... going to try to be our new way of doing this, so... I know you haven't seen me drive around in trains a lot, but they're actually significantly faster, I think, than the car at this point. Tell the car we get some better fuel for it. Uh, particularly nuclear fuel, I think, will be the best. But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go on a death train like this. I figure this is this is going to be a bit interesting, because I've actually never done outpost clearing like this. I, I'm kind of aware of some of the mechanics surrounding um, the artillery trains, but... I'm kind of interested. So... One of the main problems we have right now is that um, the way that the trains work, um, I, I made two paths and I didn't make anywhere for the artillery train to necessarily stop. So you can see he's stopping at places which could be p potential choke points. See, like, they, they don't want to... I mean, dividing this into half may not be, like, the worst idea, but eh, I, I don't want them to be on the... On the, I, I, I would rather that intersection be clear. You see how pleasant these these trains are when they come to being nice to each other. All right, go to manual. All right. Oh shit. Uh, can I go backward? No. Shit. Stop. No. Stop that. Uh. Go to copper five. Shit. 
I, I didn't mean to stop him right at that moment. Alright. Alright, we're gonna make him manual in a sec. Yeah, right about here. Alright. So one of the very first things we can do is we can go into the map and I can set up uh, so let's look at turret vision. Okay, we have turret radius up. Uh, I know he's doing his thing, but we can actually see what's up here if we actually set the uh, we, we actually set them to shoot because that's that's a little bit past to be on range. I kind of want to see how big that copper vein is to see if this is even worth. Holy shit! Okay, that's a 9.9 .9 million patch right there. So one of the other things we could do is since we're expecting a lot of fighters. We can do this as well. Alright. So, we're gonna make a path all the way up there. And the best way for me to do that is actually to set the artillery train to destroy all this stuff. And we have to manually to target some of this crap. And yes, they're gonna get mad at me. I don't know about the splash damage and things like that, but yeah. They have, uh, they have a fair bit of shells in them, so we'll be able to clear all of this out. So this is going to be a kind of our new way of uh, handling this stuff. So we do have an abundance of turrets to handle this now. And power and all that kind of jazz. And, like, we can kind of see on the radar some of these things, so... So this is this is actually the new way of clearing this stuff out. Uh, but yeah, we want to get that copper vein there. And potentially this, uh... Where's the iron that I saw? Yeah, this one here, too. That's a nice one. Maybe this one. No, 12 million is fucking fantastic. I don't know how I'm gonna make a... Through put uh, through on the train. Maybe just put put it uh, com kind of coming down there. I don't know. Or maybe extend the lines to the side here. That's probably what we'll do. We'll kind of come to the side of this thing. That seems like a good idea. As I'm planning this out, how many more uh, shells do we have? So the unfortunate part is that the copper trains will be stopped here, um, but that's okay. Because I assure you, we're going to send it back to reload, actually, probably. So I just want to have a, a come up there. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a circle here somewhere. And have it come up. So we get to kind of uh, long range these fuckers. Uh, that's a nice one. I can get, get destroyed. I'm just gonna do- I'm gonna do like two passes of this stuff, I think. Just because I, I don't know how many... Uh, I don't know how many shells this actually needs. Because I'm kind of wasting some of them with this manual targeting jazz, so... Oh, I didn't take out these ones yet. So this is actually like a really neat way to, to do this, but unfortunately I have this cargo train here. What got destroyed? They're a little bit upset there. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know what they're doing. It made the noise as, as if something got destroyed, but nothing got destroyed. Alright. I mean, this, this, this literally just became like missile defense this game. Alright, these two lived. We, do we have uh, the ability to make another train? We do not. I kind of wish I did, because you see I have this cargo train here, right? And so I was actually hoping that, you know, I could send him to reload. Maybe the car is better right now. But hey, this is working out pretty well. It's a nice way of clearing this all out, though, I'll tell you that much. 
I guess I'll, I guess I'll go back. I guess I guess the train system for this needs some work. But it was nice to be able to kind of see up here at what the like what the biters have, which is really cool. That part is massively impressive to me. It's like the best way of dealing with these guys now. I fucking love this. Thank you, developers. <laughs> I wonder if that's a base. That might be a base. Cause yeah, cause they're not moving. So it means that they're they're trying to make buildings right now. How many more uh, shells do we have? Eleven, eleven. Alright, that's not so bad. You can see him coming up right now. Yeah, I'm fucking trying to make a fucking base here. How dare they? Alright. We got most of them. I guess I'll come back with them. Let's just let wait for them to waste the rest of their ammo. Also, we're kind of holding up everything here. All right, let's go back to base. Back to death we go. Well, that worked out kind of nicely. But yeah, it was it was holding up like all the all the trains here, which is something I I mean I didn't completely account for. Uh, to be honest, but you know, it actually it wasn't a big deal because I mean it's just it just does what it wants. All right, let's remove copper five. Oops, no, 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 go to death. But let's remove copper five from the uh, orders. I mean, that's probably what I'll do is I'll I'll probably send it on its merry way um, to a couple places. But like, look at that. That's just like I cleared most of it. So you know. Uh, I, like I, I read it in the comments, someone was like really into like the veep killing biter stuff, so I, I just find that amusing. All right, let's um, let's make these slightly faster, actually. And now it's basically ready again. Uh, we are gonna. Throw some of this in here, though. Most of it in there, actually. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, I mean, I'll get some better fuel at some other point, but yeah. All right, so where where do we want to send them now? Actually, I actually enjoyed that heavily. Maybe we will send them to Copper Five again. Go to Copper Five until you have an inactivity. We're gonna set death to be that much inactivity. The other thing I I just remembered that we didn't do um, is I did not make a chemical plant, uh, but I need to get rid of some of this crap. So let me put this some of this stuff in my trash. Oops, not the. Well, yeah, no, no, no I'll keep the robot parts. We get into the logistics network real quick. What else do I not want? I don't want these. Uh, stone bricks can... Yeah, I'll just maybe feed it to this thing. Oh, there you go. That's pretty simple. Alright. So, unfortunately we don't have any better fuel for our car, but we're just going to have to drive up the car. Um, I guess the old-fashioned way. We are fortunate in the fact, yeah, it's just a fucking slow car. So we're gonna let him clear out Copper 5 and then we're gonna go onward. Thing is though, setting up some kind of automated schedule for this is probably not the best idea uh, for the Atelier Train. The Atelier Train is nice in a lot of ways for places I want to clear. Uh, but the only reason I don't want to is because um, you'll, you'll notice that this did nothing to stem the pollution. The pollution still reaches them. And, and that's kind of the, the nature of the desert world scenario. Is that the, that's right, the pollution will reach them no matter what. 
So it's all about uh, maintaining control over things like that. So unfortunately, I have to drive there like a plebeian. I couldn't quite, even though the trains are a little bit faster, um, we'll, we'll probably get some rocket fuel eventually. Or something a little bit nicer. I'm a little bit sad. We'll, we'll check out how the Atelier train is doing when we get up there. But yeah, the pollution, just no matter what, is, is going to be a reality here. Yeah, it's fucking going, man. Look at that. Got destroyed. Yeah, I destroyed some bots over here. But luckily, we have an automated we have an automated network for uh, re automatically replenishing that stuff, so we don't care. All right. So plan is to just go directly up to it. Uh, let's see. Can we just set the? Um, I just want to take out these things. This is a little bit out of its range, so it won't, it won't automatically do this. Oh, they made another base here. Or it's already, or already existed, either one. Alright. That's a very nice patch, though. That is an incredibly nice patch. How much uh, ammunition is left in these guys? 63. So what I'll likely do is maybe make the Atelier train stop at major stops and just clear up biters like that. So, actually, I'm going to keep turret range on, because it's nice to be able to see that. Alright, I don't want to start tearing up the wall yet, for reasons that should be obvious. Guys, we, they're a little bit mad that we, uh, that we destroyed their nests. Where the automated wall will do its thing. What's this over here? Oh, there's a big sandy rock there. Fucking hell, can you guys just, just be done? Oh, I already hit that one. Maybe I should just let this thing do it, do its own business. Uh, that is pretty nuts, though. Also, we're not taking that patch, even though there's like a little bit of... That's actually a lot of stone. I don't think we need any more stone. Actually, we need more stone, maybe. Uh... Fuck. That's five million, though. It does have a bit of, like... Random iron ore in there, though. That's really annoying. Man, that is a lot of massive stone. I actually completely missed that because of the fact that, like, we can't see anything. But that that five million would be the rest, the, all we need for the rest of the game, though. We may actually grab that. All right, are you done? I'll tell you, train. Yeah, looks like he's done. Yep, he's got 34 shells, so he no longer needs to go to Copper 5, but what we are going to do is we are going to start clearing up over here, so I'm going to have him go to one of the Copper 4 stations until uh, he's inactive for, I don't know, 5 seconds, sure. Inactivity counts as towards that, so uh, now it's time for a bit of outpost building, so we're going to let the artillery train do its thing, and so we're going to grab this guy, and we're going to grab this guy, so... Uh, see you in a bit. Alright, I did some, um, stuff. Uh, so, 
I've cleared it basically all the way to the top. By the way, base building is incredibly easy now. Um, all these modules. But anyways, there's a 10, uh, 10 million ore patch there. 9.9, uh, 9, 2 uranium. So we're just going to make a big ass wall around this and then that's it. Um, that's kind of how that's going to go. I came down by via train. Um, by the way, one of these trains is now completely empty. This one here. Um, and also the copper is completely full. Why is that? It's because we're not using copper anywhere in the factory. Um, I mean, I can just pick up some component chips for myself right now, but holy shit. Uh, we need to figure out where the production issues are and the production issues are all in uh, right now in the production science because it's not getting enough furnaces. Why is it not getting enough furnaces? Oh, because it's not getting enough steel. Why is it not getting enough steel? Even though all the iron is moving, um, I guess it just needs faster belts or something. It's one of those things where I think we just need more steel production, because uh, uh, it's the artillery trains that do a lot of it, honestly. But anyways, uh, let's get some of these production productivity modules. I mean, I could productivity module the steel. I mean, that's not a bad idea. Uh, fuck it, why not? You know what, that solves it. Alright, so I how do I remove modules from this? Um... How do I replace them? Apparently it may not be that easy. Alright, fine, we'll just do it manually. So how much slower does it go now? Crafting speed, 1.4. But... Productivity is 20%, so that's not bad. I wish there was an easy way of removing these crafting modules. That's a good thing to productivity modules, this shit. Because we need we need more uh, re we need more from this. I mean we could also speed module it, but yeah. Thing is we, we don't have a, a great abundance of this stuff coming in, so I I actually I, I don't know man, because this uses like uh, 15, because the thing is though, things to productivity module in, uh, Marathon is not the same thing as the regular mode, because, I mean, a lot more stuff is very nice to productivity module in this, uh, in this game. Uh, because of Marathon, just everything's more expensive, therefore, productivity modules are better. However, the productivity modules themselves are also more expensive, so, uh, I don't know, man. But anyways, we're not using copper anywhere in the factory, which is uh, kind of a problem. Um, so this is like, usually I've been productively moduling things that require steel, but hey, you know what, this works too. Just because this this keeps the line going. Because now, now this stuff will, will go for a bit longer, at least. I'm going to just remove all of these though. This is uh, worthless. So... I'm trying to figure out what to do about my little problem here. I don't really want to add more steel lines, but on the other hand, there's like there's a bunch of shit that isn't moving. So, but for the most part, this is all going. That's the thing. Like because of the fact I split it up into six lines, it's five in, five out, uh, six out. So that's why actually I, I don't feel the need to actually add more steel furnaces quite yet. I would prefer to productivity module it and then decide later what I want to do with it. So I figure actually maybe this is one of the better things to productivity module. I haven't actually gotten up to the point in the video series, by the way, on YouTube, where people can maybe helpfully tell me what they think is best to productivity module. Like a lot of purists, because uh, I've read a lot online about this kind of stuff, and a lot of the purists go like, hey, productivity module everything. Nothing uh, goes unproductivity modeled. When you think about it, uh, like I said, you're putting a thousand copper per productivity module, essentially, into... Uh, are you going to get great returns? I don't know. I really don't. Anyways, okay, so this is good now. Um, I think the steel... All right, I think I know how we're gonna do this. So, so not so much steel makes it to the end here. That's the problem. So, and it's because of the artillery wagon. I won't lie. So we're gonna output priority to, to the right here. And if nothing makes it to the top, then so be it. I don't care. Um, that's okay with me uh, because it's just using it for all the sciences everywhere. I would prefer that. For now, 
honestly, I, I artillery wagon the shit out of this place. Uh, except for this, apparently that's a new base, because they, they make new bases, that's what they do. But, like, you know, that's that's why, I, like, I'm, I'm very much... I, I think the artillery wagons are great for one purpose, one purpose only, and that is clearing out new bases. I wish I could turn off their AI, though. Um, I wish I could only set them to manual targeting, but it would appear that any time they're stopped, it, they don't care. So, this train is our Copper 2 train, and Copper 2... Uh, so Copper 1 has a little bit left in it. Copper 2, however, where is Copper 2 at? Uh, Copper 2 is right here. Copper 2 is completely out. So this train is, uh, not... It's just, it's just pointlessly moving back and forth between that station, so... Uh, that's how that's gonna go. Uh, so let's get some miners as well. How do I not have barely any miners? Don't I, didn't I make an automated thing for that? No, I guess I didn't. Uh, I'm just gonna pick them all up right now, but... Let's set this to be like... I should always have a hundred on me, maybe. Um, should also keep my... Uh, all this crap up to... Up to stuff. Because that's why I did the next level of that. Um, I don't think I need particularly anything else here, though. Uh, I need, oh yeah, I have these. I need like a hundred of these. Actually really sad. Okay, I think I'm good now. So now they're just going to give me a bunch of materials. Alright, good. Yeah, but productivity modules are the issue here. So, um, I, I'm not sure what I can do about that. Also, what we're also going to do is we're going to actually set another storage chest. Actually, I've been meaning to do this as well. So where is the where this this stuff goes? All right, so we have a stone chest here, right? And we're gonna logistic filter this to be um, just stone, and we're gonna auto trash all of our stone. So if we actually do that, it'll automatically just take any stone that I have and just put it in, in into the compartment that you know wants this stuff. So you know, we could also actually work it out in such a way actually where we get a uh, an uh, active a requester chest actually instead. But I had a I had a requester chest somewhere that I dumped out somewhere. Maybe that's what I need to do. Uh, where are all the storage chests? I swear I had one, but then I dumped it somewhere. I'm, I'm requesting it now. Maybe I put it in the car. I'm going to say I probably put it into the car. So maybe that's what I need to do instead, is I need to make a chest here. And it's going to request all, it's going to request all of the, the ore I can. I guess that maybe that's what it needs to do. Just so it actively removes it from the storage chest into that. Um, but yeah. So steel is still a bit of an issue here. How many more, um... Alright, we got ten more productivity modules that I can I can load in. So it's slowing down this side slightly, which is good. Uh, it means that we can actually bring this down actually a little bit. So it does mean that we're gonna have to get blue belts. Go do that real quick. And then we're gonna go up and make some outposts. That's the order of which things are going to happen. Uh, where are my blue belts? Because I want to extend the steel line, because productivity moduling it is actually a good idea, I would say. Uh, let's see here. Because I mean, because we have so many bots, it just doesn't matter anymore. There we go. All right, and so then the next play to do here is we uh, blueprint this stuff. 
Uh, I don't know, I'll just do something. There you go. I think we can afford to have one more line and then that should be it. This is pretty much all we can support. What, do I really not have any... Whatever, we, we need to put this actually up to 100. Let's go just grab some more. We just need to enter the logistics network for them to give me uh, what I need. Just like stand beside so this stuff. See, there it gives me... Oh, there's some lights and stuff in there? What? Yeah, there's a ton of lights. That's, that's nice that it gets rid of most of the stuff. Alright. Also, yeah, okay, we got a good amount of medium electric pulse. Wait, how do I not have... Oh, it didn't give it to me because I wasn't fast I I wasn't... I was impatient, my bad. Yeah, see, that's what they do. They take it out of the chest, and then if I leave, then it puts it into the storage chest. It's kind of dumb. It's getting me some more. Or is it also getting me? Some more of those things. <laughs> we will just uh, stamp beside it, you know? Because that's a good idea. Alright. I think that's good. We're going to make just two stacks of this stuff, actually. All right, so productivity moduling the shit out of our steel because that's something we need more of. All right, what else do we need here? I guess that's it. So, like I said, it I know it's going all the way down, but I think because of the fact these are getting slowed down, I think it'll eventually make it down there as soon as, you know, I put a couple more m modules in for that. Because they just, they're so slow and they require so much iron plates, I figure it's actually saving a lot of resources. Maybe. This is a maybe, I don't really know. I mean, it also helped to get have, like, you know, more iron coming in, but like I said, I think, I think the way, I think it's all flowing very smoothly at this point, so. The key is, you know, that we need to, yeah, this one, which, which one is this one coming from? Iron 1. Is Iron 1 done, too? Iron one is completely done. So we're gonna we're gonna make the outposts and then we're gonna yeah do our stuff. So the reason why I even came back here in the first place is because I actually ran out of um, ran out of a couple of resources um, for the wall building and stuff. How many turrets are we down to? All right, we could probably use some more laser turrets too. So let's just grab a stack of those. That unfortunately also uses valuable steel right now. Um, Alright, are any of these trains going to copper five? Nope. Alright. Fuck. Really? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You go into here. And it's gonna automatically go to copper five. Okay, maybe we should set it to manual. Just okay, one sec. You go to copper three. Yeah, you go to copper five. There's so many copper trains here waiting. What the fuck? How are you all done at the exact same time? <laughs> Everybody's done. Well, it's going to take us a while, because I, I took the train down here originally, so. I think I got enough pipes for everything else, though. Or maybe I don't. I don't know. Who cares? Alright, we're on our merry way up. To the top. Um, unfortunately, yeah. Um, like I said, production science is a bit of a problem now. Um, nothing, nothing we can really do about that. We're just going to have to face facts that it's going to come out a bit slowly for the moment. I mean, it would have been nice if I just fed these furnaces that I have into the existing system. That actually would have been an incredibly intelligent idea, because I actually don't really need the furnaces now. 
What's my auto auto save from? Fuck. You know what? Go back to go back to copper. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> uh, I I would have really sped along the the research actually. I I I had completely forgotten about that. We just have, we have so many copper trains just waiting around not doing anything, just twiddling their thumbs. And now we have like two empty trains of copper that don't do anything anymore as well, so it's like, eh. Alright. Because I have all this crap. Alright, so... Um, let's see here. So let's just put them in the back here. That's it. That's all we need to do. So this will this will help kick up the production science a little bit. All right. Okay. And now we tell ours to go to copper five. Like as I said, I don't mind sending the trains away because we have so many of them at this point that are waiting here now. Uh, like making another stop or two actually would have also been a good idea, but uh, I mean, not that necessary right now. It's it's funny because I'm I'm right now tapping into more resources up here, but I actually don't need more resources. I mean, I I need more steel actually. That's that's all I really need. Um, like copper was actually a problem for a very long time there. Uh, I'm not sure why it stopped becoming a problem. I think it's because that productivity moduled everything. Because it slowed down everything and then we stopped consuming so much of things, but that's fine because this productivity module machine can go 100% all the time, so. And eventually this will probably make it down there, I don't know. I probably should just up the steel production, quite honestly, which means I would need to make another maybe another stop for iron because I, I don't feel confident in this like like this is like can I, this can't be this definitely can't be split into two more lines so oh uh, wait, wait, just stop for a sec okay now you can go to copper all right why are these all oh it's blue okay good that's actually what we want all right, so I'll show you a bit of the outpost building uh, because uh, honestly, it was not that painful. Uh, it was actually very easy to do. So. so there's been a bit of attacks here, but that's okay. Because uh, building walls now is so simple to do. So the car is now exists over here, but like I, like I said, it's kind of slow now, comparatively. It has a lot of our resources in there, but we have a lot ourselves, so... Well, this is pretty much how turret building goes now for me. And we have shields, so we don't really care about anything that these guys have to do. So we just kind of go here, and our purple bar is just refilling all the time. So we have a ton of construction bots for this as well. Um, and I'm not even sure what evolution this is at, but I, I get to just fucking run around them, and uh, they can't really do anything to me. So let's go just... I don't have enough slots for these guys, actually, so let's just uh, bring them in. This is what happens when you have a couple hundred. Alright, this is pretty good. Start out pulling out. Yeah, the problem is I'm too fast for even the bots now. Oh, hey, we missed one. Yeah, I can just go do whatever, I don't even care. Pretty easy stuff, actually, now. We're gonna have to deal with that nest, though. So I was very fortunate, I just kind of walked a little bit to the right, because I wanted to see what was there, and there's just a, a ton of iron there. Fucking A, like there's tons of it. So this is how um, we build walls now. Alright, so let's uh, get these going. I 
And we just put this in a couple of strategic locations. We can also get like a little bit up here. Maybe a little bit over there if uh, the trees are cleared by some other bots. Uh, and like we don't even take health down. I only have one shield unit in me right now. And there you go. It, that, that's how much it took for them to actually breach through that. It's a lot. I don't even worry, first I have. I have a lot. So, I mean, they're, they're everywhere, these guys, but... And artillery trains obviously do a little bit of a better job at dealing with us. Um, oh, there's a little bit more copper here, too. Neat. So we get to just kind of run around and do this, which is kind of fun, actually, you know. But the strategy is OP as all holy hell. What's our evolution factor at, I wonder now? Yeah, they're pretty much almost at the point of which um, they max out, but I don't think that means anything to me at this point in the game. I should just take out this one. I don't need to go that much further up this way. I start clearing out some of these guys. You've done your job very well. Very proud of you all. The only thing is, like, sometimes I don't get a chance to recharge because I'm running around so much. Because, like I said, I'm very much a man of speed <laughs> right now. So we get to just run around and, you know, clear out all this crap and just whatever. So I am just going to go... Take all these bots back. We are losing bots occasionally. Uh, do we need to handle this base down here? I think we do. That's okay, we, ha we are very well equipped to deal with it. And this is pretty much late game combat for me in this in this uh, sense now. We're actually out of repair packs, or well, we kind of are. So this kind of goes back into the point of which I, I was saying before. Uh, when I play this game, I either play with biters completely up or completely off. I don't really do the middle road, uh, and it's just for the reason that like you can see here that like. Either they're a challenge, or they're a nuisance, or they don't exist. Um, and usually, if you're kind of like into the game a little bit, and then you've played it enough, um, they just pretty, pretty much always become a nuisance. Um, in Death World, they become a challenge usually for the first 20 hours or something, and then, you know, then you kind of wrap your head around it, and then they're basically toast. So, easy, easy stuff. So, like, as I said, it's just, you know. Take it as you will. Um, I mean, the game's more about building than it is anything else, but uh, that's also one of the problems with at least um, the uh, uh, the default presets is that a lot of the building tends to be outpost building. So, uh, you know, it's take it as you will. Um, it's still not bad, like, it's still good, but like, like I said, you can turn resources all the way up if you don't want to deal with outpost building, so you can just have, like, a, just a giant patch of ore or something that you never have to concern yourself with ever leaving. It's not necessarily a bad way of playing the game. Uh, like, I, I've, I've started worlds like that, um, and didn't really finish them, you know, I'll, I'll admit. Um... Usually when we start getting into mega base territory, I, I start to realize it isn't for me, so... Um, I, I just kind of like the default mode of the game. You know. It's it's more of like a matter of to each their own. Fuck, they got one. Alright. 
Fortunately, it came at an opportune time when the wall was not ready. All right, is this? Uh, it needs another one, I think. Now it's definitely ready to go up there. So there's a little stone patch there, don't care. I haven't really quite gotten to this stone patch yet, although I would like to make it a part of my base here. Like I said, I, I think I think that at least for the context of my mode, the artillery train doesn't really do add a whole lot for me. Um, it's just, it do, it's there, you know, it's useful for certain things, but I, I kind of wish I could turn it off of the auto mode. You know, I think that would I think that would have been fa fabulous. Right, let's finish off these guys. Oh, they breached through my shield. It's like playing Halo on easy mode, that's what this is now. <laughs> but you can see, like, uh, it drastically different uh, when you get, like, all the technologies and stuff. It's just that, that spike, like, if you have this graph to show, like, the minute you go high-tech science, it's like fucking, the, like, the spike just goes way up in terms of everything. So, I think... I honestly think if I have one criticism for this game, they really need to re rework that and look at that again. I love the game, don't get me wrong. I really do. But, you know. That's why a lot of people, they don't bother with it. They just kind of, you know, turn the biters off and it's like, fuck it. It's okay. And I don't, I don't blame them. You know, as I said, I'm kind of the same way. Just building shit is all, is kind of nice. All right, so here's what we're gonna do now. Um, I have a lot of raider dishes, so let's go make some of these. Actually, I always put three in the corners because it's it's not a matter of scanning new territory; it's also rescanning existing territory. So it serves it serves actually many purposes. So, but we need the raider dishes to see what's around. So we did do a bit of uh, outpost building, I guess, um, which I said I wouldn't do, but then when I realized how much how much different it was now, uh, I'm like, oh, you know, what? it's actually kind of fun because I'm because uh, I'm, I'm basically I'm basically a god now in this game. The only thing that can really kill me now is trains. So this is part of the great thing about having so many bots with you. And I said I said it once and I'll say it again. The bots are the most powerful weapons that you have in the game. Like we lose them occasionally, but we still have a great abundance of them. Like I can have a hundred out at a time, so. As I said, if I want more, I can just go back and get some. So I, I probably should tell the game to, to give me 150, just so if we, when we lose some, it's it's fine. Alright, so we're gonna delete all these suckers. And that this 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 wall layout became like a late game layout for some reason. So I'm wondering if I should take this uranium ore patch as well. The answer is probably yes. It's probably yes. I wonder how our oil's doing. Yeah, it's um, it's there. Um, probably gonna have to tap into that at some point. Are these really? Oh wow, they really are like. I mean, it's it's trying to unfill it, but then it like unfills it into these ones, which is going into here, kind of a thing. It's weird. Don't ask it. All all you need to know is that the oil is doing perfectly fine. Doesn't really need to be touched by us at all. It is a fabulous oil patch. So there's some reason why the light oil isn't making it to here. There is some reason why the light oil isn't making it all the way up here. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, wait, it's here. It's not making it up there, though. Why is that? It's not a pumping issue. I guarantee you about that. 
I may have fucked something up. Oh, this is where it is. Okay, let's go fix that real quick. Whoopsie daisy. Actually, uh, there is a really easy fix we can do right now. Ta-da, there you go. We don't actually have to go down there anymore. Gets both sides. Kind of need the flamethrower turrets. Not gonna lie. Kind of useful. Kind of useful. How much more do we have for building this stuff? Alright, uh, we probably should take out this base too. Uh, I guess we're gonna have him come over here. Yes. Yeah, this is kind of a big base, I would say. I don't know. Are we gonna be able to handle? Of course we're gonna be able to handle it. My kind of silly question is that there's nothing that more more gun turrets can't solve. Look at them, they're all fucking stuck here. It's actually a choke point. I wouldn't give for a nuclear missile right now. I mean, artillery is just one of many ways we have of dealing with these guys, but artillery, I would say, is more of the better in the automated sense. It's actually super nice because you actually see my battery is always completely full these days. Alright, uh, yeah, let's just, um, get rid of all this stuff. I know I see another base there. Like, I figure I might as well actually bring the uranium as a part of this. I mean, I don't see a reason not to. I mean, honestly, this coal should also be a part of it. Um, like, even though, actually, no, we have this coal here, so fuck that. Like, I'm barely tapping into this one here. Like this, it doesn't even go anywhere. What the fuck? Yeah, it's a coal is just worthless for us. I mean, it, that's usually how it goes in the late game. I mean, if we did more like, coal liquefaction, then yeah, I would probably have to set up an intricate train network for that, but as it turns out, there was actually a lot of oil near me anyways. I mean, you could do a run where, like, um, oil is infrequent, and I probably should make a thing here to kill these fighters. Let's see, can I, can I like do this? Oh, that's sick. I mean, it, it is kind of interesting in its own right. Apparently the coal liquefaction was meant more for big factories with not a lot of oil and a great abundance of other resources, so I don't know, it's just whatever. Yeah, remember when you were maybe scared about green biters? I, I say maybe because I wasn't sure actually. Like, wow, those guys have a lot of health. Oh shit, no, my shields. Shields down. Alright, how much how much further do we need to do here? I don't think we need to go any further here. Just clean up all these guys. How many more walls do we have? Uh, we may be completely out of walls, actually. Ironically. Uh, I don't know if that's irony, but... Because I think the... Well, we appear to have at least a little bit more. Okay, we are now completely out of walls. Damn shame, too. Alright, well, I guess, you know what? There's not much else for me to show you with this. I um, guess we're just going to take out these guys and then and call it up. Because I'll do this all on my own. Because unfortunately now, every time I want to get more resources, I have to go all the way back down. It sucks. So I'm definitely going to finish productivity moduling some of the stuff I was productivity moduling before. We're probably gonna get a couple more bots too to go with it, because we've been definitely uh, running. We've been definitely running out of. Well, I don't think think we're running out of bots necessarily, but let's just finish genociding these. Oh, we actually ran out of turrets too. Damn, son.
I mean, it's, that's all we have to do now, is just these ones. So I'm probably just going to eat all these up. Alright, so I'll tell you what I'm going to have for next time. So, it does appear to me like we probably need just a couple more stations here just to make sure that the copper doesn't ever, you know, become a serious issue. In terms of, like, now we have too much. I, I have now gone to another outpost, which may or may not have been a mistake. Um, I'm going to say it probably wasn't a bad idea to do, but... I, I, I obviously kind of did this because I thought I was running out. Um, but I think it's more an issue of the fact that... I think we don't... We're, we just don't have enough iron maybe now? I don't know. Maybe we don't have enough furnaces making steel? Because that looks like a bigger issue. So, I think... I think here's what the plan is now. I think I have the plan. So, it looks like productivity modules didn't really do much for this. I mean, they're still good, but they didn't help this as much along as I thought they would. Um, so, what we're going to do is I'm going to make... I'm going to maybe make another stop for iron. Maybe. The other thing, though, is that this is kind of stopping, so it is. we can have the potential to add another line here. It's so weird, man. So freaking weird. I, I, I basically, I, I believe, firmly believe that this needs actually two be blue belts to come on to a singular, uh, a singular, uh, on some red belts coming down the line here to give us more steel. Because it, it, it definitely looks like this is a steel uh, production issue. And the problem I have is that I think if when I add steel, uh, when I, well, sorry, when I add additional steel, then copper's gonna become a problem again. So it's a never-ending issue of, yeah, of where to where to send resources. So, I mean, the thing I could do is to test it. You see how some of it's stopping kind of occasionally. It just has nowhere to send it at the moment. So the best thing to do actually might be to make another balancer with another line and then put that line into there and see how, see what happens. But you see, the minute the gears go again, it will become an issue, so. Um, I would like to make another stop, but this does mean that we need to go and get, uh, probably this iron right here. Um, luckily this iron is, is, what the fuck? Alright. Alright, lads. Um, that is the biggest iron ore patch I have ever fucking seen. All right, well, fuck the bottom one. Um, we can just go get this one. This is like right in our backyard here. Okay, so I'm going to finish this outpost here. Um, and we are also going to... What the fuck? Do this. I'm so bad at genocide. Why? Really? Wait, why is this an issue now? There we go. Alright. So, um, that is by far the largest patch of, uh, of iron I've, I've seen in this run so far. Um, that is 22 million iron ore. Fucking shit. So, I was saying to myself that I want to make sure I have enough iron ore, because if I make another train to unload iron ore for more steel furnaces, I would prefer that yeah, so that's what we're going to do, I think. I actually super like the idea of that, because this looks like it can, it can support two red belts, basically, I'm going to say. So, with that in mind, also this is, these, are, these two are not connected, but I think I kind of knew that. Uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do, actually. Um, so I'm going to make a very large outpost here. Um... Uh, yeah, so more laser turrets, more walls, more everything. And, uh, so when you come back next time, we should be plugging in the rest of those trains and, uh, and having a grand old, grand old time with that. So, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.